Hello and welcome to WP Elements Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to configure the WP Elements Chat plugin. So once you've installed the WP Elements Chat plugin, you'll see a live tab in LMS settings section. Under live, you'll see a chat sub tab and a notice to fill in the Firebase credentials. So if you scroll down in the settings, we see that we have Firebase API key or domain and the credentials which are required so first up we need an account in the Google Cloud Console so if you simply search Google Cloud Console you will see the link to Google Cloud Console for this you need a Google account so I'm sure you're already using Google uh, projects for the fonts API and the Google Maps in WPLMS site. So you might be already having a Google Cloud project. In case you do not have, then you simply need to go into the Google Cloud platform and here you need to click on new project. So for this demo I've already created a WPLMS chat project so once we have created the new project we can go to firebase.com and here we need to go into the console and in the console you need to click on add project and here you will be shown all the Google projects that you have. So for this demo, I've already selected the WPLMS chat project. As you can see. So now, if we go to the settings of the project, and in general settings, we see that I add Firebase to your web app. And when we click on it, we see all these values. We see all these values. These are the values which we need to fill in here. So we'll just simply copy all these values. So you can see that we have auth domain. So these values are exactly like the ones which are displayed. Okay. Next, we have few more settings which are not displayed here. For this, we need to go into the service accounts. And in the admin SDK, you can see the Firebase service account. You need to generate a new private key. When you click, it downloads a small file which we can open in any text editor, as you can see here. So here we have the service account email, which is the client email. and then we have the private key so we need to copy the private key within the quotes and paste it here like this and then we have a unique user ID so for this we need to go to the users authentication and here we need to add a new user so first you might be required to set up a sign in method so for this I've enabled the in e email password sign up method it's optional that you can enable any of the sign up method we just need a unique user ID so here I have created and I've manually entered the email ID and the password to add the user once the user is added we have the unique user ID which we can copy and paste it here and then save the settings So once the settings are saved, we'll see a notice to generate the chat structure and we can click on generate chat structure. So this will generate the backend chat structure in Firebase for our WPLMS chat. So if you go to the WPLMS chat project in your Firebase and go to the database, you need to first select that 
the that we are going to use the real time database so when we have selected this only then we will be able to use it so we'll go uh, to the bottom of our settings page and regenerate the firebase so this is also helpful if you want to clear out all the test data from your firebase it will basically reset your firebase backend and then when we click on generate structure so it should fill up this okay so it's kind of stuck which means that we again need to regenerate the firebase credentials so let's go back to our firebase account and here we have some rules okay so by default the rules disable any data from being entered into your firebase account so we'll simply go and say auth not equals to false and then publish so once the rules are published then we can again click on generate chart structure and and you can see that we have firebase database is generated and you can see that we have all these sections enabled in the firebase database so this confirms that our firebase is now working so now we need to reload this page and we see that we need to update the rules for the firebase so we can simply copy this and go to our firebase account and in the rules you can simply control a and then paste the new rule set so the firebase rules are basically for security and uh, and the speed at which your firebase backend will perform with the real time updates so next up are the settings that we're going to see in our next video thank you for watching